Hey there, how are you? I wasn't planning on doing two swatching videos in a row in my 30 days in the studio videos, but then this massive box, here's my hand for skill, just arrived and it's the product that you guys have been waiting for. So I thought we might as well do a swatching video today so you guys can see what we're talking about. As you can see, these are things from Paul Rubens that they very, very kindly sent me for free, but they haven't paid me for any sponsorship or anything. So anything I say about these products are totally my own views that are honest, but they've sent me the tubes that you guys have been waiting for, a brush and their new sketchbook. So we shall have a look at all these today. So this is the 24 tubes watercolor. Let's open it up. And I will be leaving links down below for where you can get all of these products. And they are going to be sending me discount codes to these products as well. So as soon as I get them, I will put it in the description below as well. So you can get some discount for these supplies as well. Very nice. Oops. It has moved slightly in, but that's not a problem. The tubes are all fine. They're not squished at all. So far, I'm liking the colors I see. So this won't be a review video. It's more like a first impression video because it's just arrived on my doorstep today. I will do a much more detailed review later on in after the 30 days in the studio is finished. But for today, we'll swatch these colors and see how they are. And then I think this is a brush. Paul Rubens, I have to say, always have very good packaging. Mm. So I think this is a mock brush. It looks really good, but I won't be using it in this video because I just want to do some swatching and this is way too big for that. But I will do a review of this brush at a later date as well. And then I believe this is the new sketchbook. I asked for the pink, but I think you can get black as well. So this is their Paul Rubens watercolor hot pressed, 20 pages, 300 GSM, 100% cotton, 16K. I don't know what the 16K is, but it's 27 centimeters by 19.5 centimeters. This looks way more than 20 pages, so we'll have a look. Nice elastic band. Oh, it's a block. Oh, okay. Oh, that's really good. I thought this was going to be a sketchbook, but no, this is actually a um, watercolor block. So it's gummed all the way around, apart from this little bit here. So that you can stick a palette knife in and peel the page off. Oh, okay. I had no idea this was going to be blocked. That's awesome because I much prefer to use blocks rather than sketchbooks because when you use block, it will dry flat rather than get all wavy. So this is really, really fun. So I was going to swatch in here because I thought it was a sketchbook, but it's not. So I'm going to leave swatching or reviewing this block for later date but oh wow i had no idea it was going to be a watercolor block rather than a watercolor sketchbook that's awesome first we have permanent lemon yellow then permanent yellow medium that's py64 Permanent orange yellow PY seventy four Indian yellow PY eighty three
Chinese Red, PR254. Peach Light, PR146. Rose Red, PV19. I have to say, these paints have really nice flow to them so far. Magenta, PR122. And then we have Nickel Yellow, that's PY150. Lavender Violet, that's PV29, PV3 and PW6. And then Permanent Violet, PV23, that's really strong, wow. Cobalt Blue, PV28. French Ultramarine, PV29. Sea Blue, PV15, colon 3. That's your Thalo Blue yellow shade. Indigo, it's a mixture of PB19, PB15 and PBK6. Turquoise Light. Permanent Green, PG36, PY3 and PY74. Emerald Green Light, that's PG36. Hooker's Green, I think they mean brilliant. It does say on the tube, brilliant light. But I think they mean brilliant or maybe brilliant light. That's a nice that is a really nice deep mossy green. It's really nice. Olive green. This one surprised me because it has PG36, PY12, PY101 and PW5. And then Yellow Sienna Deep, PY42. And then Cypress Brown Deep. And then Van Dyke Brown, PBR7. And then burned brown. And that's PBR7 again.
the paints have dried and I'm really impressed with the colors. They're all nice and bright. I think a couple of the colors just got out of order in the box during transit. So I think this and this should be more over here rather than where they are. I painted this on the Fabriana Academia. So it's like the lowest quality watercolor paper I use. And that's just because if it can perform well on this paper, then it's going to perform really well on any paper. And I'm really happy with how they did the swatching. It's nice and even. It was a pleasure to paint with. The consistency of the paint out the tube was really nice too. None of the colors were either too runny or too solid. You know, sometimes you have to like really push it out the tube. You never had those problems. All the colors were nice and a good texture out of the tube and they all have nice flow. There are a few naming problems that we see in a lot of Asian brands, like sea blue is, I guess, a marine blue, as other brands might call it, but it's a sailo blue yellow shade. The hooker's green, brilliant, bright, brief light thing that was going on. I'm not quite sure which they wanted to go for, but in terms of color, they are very nice, they're very bright, and as I said, I think it's a good selection of colors. Not too many browns, although I would have liked to see some yellow ochre in there, but it's a good balance of the yellows, the reds, the violet, the blues, and the greens. One color I do have a question about is the peach light, though. That's supposed to be PL146, that is Napsol Red, and this is not Napsol Red. It it might have some napsol red in it. It's way more like an opera color and opera color that has a little bit of fluorescence to it. It's the brightest color out of the lot. It glows way more than any of the other colors. And I've just finished recording the opera episode that you will see in about two weeks time. And all the opera colors that glowed like this had some fluorescence in it. I am slightly in two minds about whether that is actually PR146 or not. But if you do have any questions about the tubes and things like, oh, is it going to be available individually and things, do ask away in the comments down below because I will then forward those questions to the people that sent me these lovely products so that they can give you answers in time for the actual full review. So I hope you enjoyed this watching. Do let me know what you think of these paints in the comments down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye!